Hey everybody, it's Friday. It's open house Friday, so I hope that you have plans to come down and check out the neighborhood um, celebration this afternoon or this evening from five to nine. I have a, I'll have an open house, the studio will be open to wander around and see some of the classes that um, are coming up. And uh, you know, there'll be some nibbles and some bubbles and a free craft, you can come make a button. Um, so anyway, uh, there's also all the other shops uh, along the road are gonna be open as well. So hopefully that sounds fun to you and you come on down. All right, so today it's uh, Friday, so it's my art journal day. So I'm gonna just work in a journal that I started while I was gone. So let me get this situated. Okay. Oh, this is off center. <laughs> this I bought this at uh, the art store in uh, I mean it's ended it doesn't say that it's ended here let's try again all right so I um, I bought this journal in the art store in Philadelphia that is down the street from my um, son's school drexel um hey kendall and uh i basically i just love the size it's you know cute and perfect and all that and then what i started doing is what i call this is one way that i journal when i'm traveling is that i just put in everything that i pick up or end up with in my purse um this is you know my card expired while we were there so bam that goes in there uh which I will obscure, don't worry. Um, and so I just have all these little bits, and this one I've already started layering up a little bit onto, but I'm gonna do a little more um, today. Oh, you know what, I, forgot? I knew I forgot something. I was gonna bring the art supplies that I picked up. I was gonna use some watercolors and stuff today. But I'm gonna start by just um, brayering on, this is my jelly plate, I'm gonna use it as a, um, palette basically and I'm just gonna spray on some color and you know I've got a bunch of different textures and layers in here um, this is the Independence Hall ticket this was our ticket from the, the valet you know just stuff and I was playing around with some colors in there you can see I've got um, some bright pink I bought some watercolor um, it might be kind of interesting to see what happens if I get that wet so I always have some water sitting around and I have a little yogurt jar. So let's see what happens if I get, this is watercolor paint down in there that I bought at the art store in Rhinebeck, which is near Red Hook, which is where my sister lives. I go to it every time I go to town because, um, to her place, because it's a beautiful art store. And uh, that's fun. Anyway. So I just thought I would just spend a little time. I'll show you. I've got a stack here that has not been put in yet. So I'm going to grab my double-sided tape and my glue. So some of these things need, you know, some serious glue. And some of these uh, I can just put in with double-sided tape. Um, I'm an anxious flyer, so I take some CBD sometimes um, when things get hectic. So that's what that is. This is the, these are the dates I had as a snack <laughs> at one point. Um, oops. Should pull this forward. <laughs> Thanks, Kendall. Some tools. Um, Kendall's posted some links to my tools and supplies. This is the Elizabeth Craft double-sided tape, if you wanna add that, which uh, I love. I love their stuff. I just ordered her most recent um, planner release. She's got this mason jar. Oh my gosh, me and my fingers. Um, die that she's just put out. I just ordered that in. Um, can't get the paper in yet, it's out of stock. 
her new her latest paper um, pad but anyway I do have boxes for the reveal today um, I'm trying to keep the studio tidy but we will open a box or two show you what's in them um, and then you can always come down this evening do the free craft and uh, and then buy what I pull out okay there we go one last thing here All right, <laughs> that took longer than it should have. And I'm literally just sticking in. I don't really, I, I do care about it being straight. I'm, I prefer all my stuff to be straight, but I don't, um, other than that, it doesn't matter to me if it's upside down or whatever. As you can see, I'm kind of linear. All right, you know, this is a piece of eucalyptus um, bark that I picked off the tr trail at a place called Mohonk um, Mountain House which is where I um, stayed with my family. And um, it's an amazing spot. I really, 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 really recommend checking it out if you can, because if you ever get a chance to go to New York, because it's just a beautiful, old, historic, one of those places that they had as a, um, a like a spa, not a spa, what's it called? Like a wellness clinic when that was all popular in the 20s. Um, a sanatorium, I think is maybe the word I'm looking for. Anyway, it's got its own little lake and it's got these views and it's all set up. It reminds me a little bit of the McMinimans in Oregon. You know how, if you're at all ever in Oregon, McMinimans is a company that takes over old historic spaces and then makes them into brew pubs. And they always go super vintagey, super cool, um, very, very stylized and that mohawk reminds me of that um, I got a blister so that's what this is band this band-aid is from so now I've got some layers in here I'm gonna add some paint I'm just gonna go ahead and use whatever's in front of me right now um, I don't really care what it does I'm just layering on creating a backdrop There's that. I can also come in with some, this is transparent matte paste by, will you look at that? I have never, I don't think I've ever seen paste mold. Huh. That's, hey Lois. That's flabbergasting. Okay, so we'll use this one instead. This is one that I've actually tinted and, um, it doesn't look, oh, you can see I like purple because <laughs> my texture base is purple. The paint I picked up today was purple. Oh, my shirt is purple. I'm in a purple mood, obviously. And this is just a stick I used to stir my coffee at the airport. So that's in there. So I'm just using it to apply this stuff. Now, you know, um, the whole point is just to get funky with it. It's not, I'm not trying to do anything. It's a little bit of a per preservation technique, but obviously I'm, I'm covering up a lot of it. So it's not about being able to flip through and say, oh, look, it's not a scrap. Sorry, the video cut out there for a second. I had a phone call. Problem with using your phone for everything. I'm hoping that I'll come back. There we go. <laughs> so tonight isn't just about my reopening. There is a new store in town, um, Spunky Rose. She is a couple doors down in Martina's old space, my creative outlet's old space. And um, so she is opening today. It's her grand soft opening. And um, Martina will be open, of course. She's the mastermind of most of this stuff. Silver King is open. Um, there's a new juice shop. I'm gonna be honest, I'm so dyslexic that I, I'm not sure I can pronounce the name of the juice shop properly. I have to have someone say it for me a couple times before I try. But uh, 
Lay Sisters will be here. Um, you know, Los Toros is obviously going to be open if you want to start with a margarita. And uh, you can always go by and peek through the fence at what's going on at the new florist or the old florist building. And um, yeah, it's lots of lots of cool things going on. So, so far I've used, um, you know, Martha Stewart satin paint in uh, purple yam and yellow jacket and Karelian in the fresco paints. These are all matte paints when they go down, so I end up with a matte finish. So, it's worth noting that I actually have wood down in the background of this one so when I'm heat gunning it and plastic you can see the plastics melting a little bit as I do this it's kind of fun oh I can smell it Ooh, I'm gonna stop because I can smell that okay so that page is a good start here's another one let's see yeah these are all things that should probably go on their own pages oh here's one my butter <laughs> wrapper I'm telling you I do go you know a little um, deep with these sometimes like when I find myself it's one thing to open your purse and like dig through and pull out all the stuff that's just collected on the bottom and then it's another thing to uh, collect um, you know significant things like the tickets and stuff like that but when you start saving the trash from your wrappers, from your candy bars and things like that. I do think that that goes a little too far and I made myself throw out a bunch of stuff the other day, but I thought this better wrapper was pretty cool. So obviously I think there are exceptions to that rule. And I don't even know what this is, but I'm gonna throw it in there. Ooh, where are them all? I'm supposed to be getting ready for this open house tonight and cleaning up. And of course, what I've done is just move everything and dumped it on my desk. So it's all sitting here waiting for me to organize and put away properly. Okay, I'll do it this way. So I'm gonna use some double-sided tape on this little tickety thing. And um, so um, if you do come tonight, I am... Uh, Oh boy, I'm going back and forth on the mask thing. Part of me is like, well, if I can't tell who's vaccinated and who's not, then maybe I should just have everyone wear masks. But then I'm like, I don't think I can legally. And I know that I'm comfortable not wearing a mask these days because I am vaccinated, but I also want people to feel safe around me. So I'm still wearing a mask when I go out in public. So I'm actually kind of curious how people feel about masks and whether or not you choose to still wear them and if you know how you feel if you're not wearing one but you're asked to wear one in a business that you went to because you know it's not a mandate anymore but it still feels kind of important so you know, throw a comment or send me an email let me know what your thoughts are because I am, I am curious let's see so there's that I've got some paste these are texture paste that I made up Myself. This is my yellow. Oh my gosh, I, that was totally unintentional. <laughs> yellow. I am color coordinating my pages without even trying. This happened to be in front of my face and I grabbed it. I like it though. I like it. So this is one of my um, texture pastes that I made. I have more. Now, um, I do approach these a little differently from how I deal with my pure paint art and texture art journals because, you know, like normally in my art journals, I don't like things peeling up. It literally has a little butter left on it. Um, and so, you know, but when it comes to this, it doesn't bother me as much as part of, you know, it's part of the quality of, of this particular kind of journal. got sitting in front of me here too is that I keep meaning to use these these are um, the um, marabou I think it's marabou um, 
art crayons. It's another version of like the scribble sticks and the distress crayons and um, the gelatos and the portfolios. They're all, you know, of the same sort of craft supply, which is, um, they're all water soluble, creamy pastel sticks in essence. Pigment sticks is another way to think of them. Pastels can be chalky, they can be oily, they can be, um, uh, well, whatever this is, water soluble. Um, but the point with a pastel is that usually the whole point is that they're blendable and they're, they go on creamy. So I don't know if you can see what's happening there. Ooh, that wasn't dry, so that reacted that way. So just filling in some spots here. There are people who use these sorts of things to make really beautiful art. I am just adding bits of color which I kinda like. So maybe I'll go back and throw some in here the same way. Got dug up some not dry. Anyway, so those are kind of fun. I have a few sets of these. Um, I have sets, not individual. If people like them, I'll bring in them individually. But right now, I think that the sets, if you want to try them, the sets are really good value. All right, for what they are. New color, new paint, more stuff. Now I haven't even started to work with um, a stencil yet. That's one thing I've not put down yet in one of these. Let's see what I have. Ooh, that's kind of a cool color. This is again, my own personal texture paste. Actually looks like maybe this one is getting a little dry. Or maybe I used a different, oh, I know what this is. I used a pigment powder to create this one, and I'll be honest, um, it created, it made it super doughy almost. So, I wasn't super into it. Oh, I'm glad, Lois. I'm glad you like those. I, um, I like them too. They're a little harder than some of the others, so you can do more with them, like crayons. So some of the things that happen when you art when I art journal, and I'm doing this sort of very random thing, is that I'll get color combinations that I would never have thought about. So you, know, you can see this red and this this purple, I really probably would not have chosen to put those together, but look how great they look. Looks pretty, pretty fantastic if you ask me. Well, this page is a pot mess. <laughs> okay. doing what I did yesterday for my jelly printing, which is just plunking stuff down without thinking about it. So the writing, I don't know if you caught that before I obscured it, but there was some writing in there. And that writing was um, done with walnut ink and a pen that I bought at the uh, Independence Hall, one of the little museums in the area. And uh, it was a quill, a pointed pen, bone um, pen holder, bone pen holder and um, it wasn't a flexible nib so it, you know I wasn't expecting to get a sort of calligraphy finish when I wrote with it but it is that is what happened oh look you can see the plastic that's under there is reacting to the heat and rolling up do I like that I can't tell what am I thinking you see all that happening oh look what's happening <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna let it happen and then I'm probably gonna have to do something to fix it because I don't, look what it's doing to the page. That is more than I can handle. Ah. 
Oh my gosh, I'm such a butt. I cannot deal with that. So it wraps around to the other side, so it's dragging the page forward. So there, I can't deal watching that happen. Okay, fixed it a little bit. <laughs> uh, I have let go of a lot of stuff in my journey to, you know, be a more forgiving artist for myself, but can't do that. Okay. This is just what's left on the brayer from it sitting here with all the colors I've been using. You can see it's got the sort of orangey red tone going down on top of that purple. Kind of like it. Kind of fun. A little chaotic. So that's the mask I wore for most of the trip. Or one of the masks. Because of course I wore multiple masks. We wore masks the whole time. Um, what else? What else do I want to do? So I've gotten, I really don't like this page. What am I going to do here? Nope, that one does not want to squeeze. I don't have time to fix it right now. I'm just going to do this instead. Let's see. All right, I just wrote, even though you probably can't hear it, if you don't like it, you're not finished. Just to remind myself that this is always a work in progress. And this is a spot for me to just play and hang out with my memories and my thoughts. Um, I'm not gonna squash that, but I do wanna show you what I managed to mess up today. Did, did I, I made some starts, whoops. So I will be continuing in this journal throughout the summer, but uh, yeah, that's where I am right now. And um, the journal itself is this cute little, well, I kept the label so I can um, order it in. Uh, it's just, a, it's like a natural paper. You can see how many pages there are. I, I maybe put uh, maybe 10 pages in. So still a lot to do with that page, with this journal. Um, I hope you like it. Let's see. I hope that you are considering coming tonight. I really would love to see you all. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be really fun. And um, yeah, I have lots to show you. I'm really hoping to build up the schedule as well. I realized it was a very quiet week here at the shop. And part of me thought, oh yeah, I used to have classes almost every day. So I'm going to be adding more classes during the week. Um, and uh yeah, Yasmin, I agree. I would love to um, fit that in. Sunday's normally my day off, so the, the biggest thing right now is that I just need to find a Sunday that works for me. But um, uh, yes, I will, we'll, we'll get back to it, I promise. Um, all right, so hopefully I'll see you all tonight. Take care.